This video deals with testing concept on parity bit, checksum and CRC. So what are parity bits? They are an extra bit added to data while sending data to one computer to another. Let us take one example. So this is what data sent. Now here parity bit will be 1 because there are 4 1 bit in this particular data that is the even hence parity bit will be 1. Now let us see what is data received. Here if you see there is difference between data sent and received and hence there is the difference between parity bit for data sent and parity bit for the data received. Comparing the two parity bits, we can see that there was an error. Thus, parity bits helps to detect the transmission error, ensure data completion, and ensure data integrity. So, let us understand two more terms, checksum and CRC. Checksums are exactly same as parity but able to identify more complex error by increasing the complexity of arithmetic. On the other hand, CRC, they are the advanced version of parity as well as checksum by increasing the complexity of the arithmetic. For CISA exam, we are not supposed to know what is the complexity or what is the arithmetic or what is the algorithm. Only basic understanding is required. Now, when objective is to identify transmission error and our options are parity, checksum and CRC, we need to give priority to CRC because they are most advanced version. Again, when objective is to identify transmission error and options are parity and checksum, we need to give priority to checksum because checksums are more advanced than parity. We need to also know one more term that is forward error control. They also work on the same principle as CRC but important factor is that forward error control will help us to correct the error while CRC, checksum and parity will help us to detect but not correct. Forward error control will help us to correct the error. Point to remember for CISA exam. So, when our objective is to identify data transmission error or to ensure data completion or to ensure data integrity, first preference to be given to CRC, second preference to checksum and if both the options are not there then your answer should be parity. Again, to correct the data transmission error, please note the word correct. Your answer should be forward error control. More question. So purpose of checksum is to ensure we already discussed objective of CRC checksum or parity is to ensure data integrity or data completion or to detect data transmission error. So out of these three we are having option of data integrity. So, which of the following control best detects transmission error by appending extra bit onto the end of each segment? So, if you see our objective is for to detect transmission error. So, our answer should be either CRC, checksum or parity. So, for the preference given CRC stands for cyclic redundancy check. So, our answer will be CRC that is redundancy check. Detection of burst of errors in network transmissions is best ensured by So here our objective is to identify the transmission error and our answer should be Cyclic redundancy check that is the most advanced version of parity More question to ensure detection and correction of error, redundant information is transmitted with each character or frame. This control is known as 
if you notice the question here what correction is there so our answer in such kind of question should be forward error control it help us to correct the error as well thanks for watching please visit datainfosec.com for more such videos